This is Mike Ferrar at Preferred Pump. We're going to talk about testing insulation resistance of motors today, which is also called megging a motor. First thing we have to do is decide what is a good or what's a bad motor. So to do that, what we want to do is go to Motor Handbook. In this case, this is a Grunfuss Handbook. On page 62 is a chart that tells us what is a good motor and what's a bad motor. For our case, what we want to look at is 10 meg is, is considered a good motor to put back in a well, 10 meg or better. So that's going to be our value that we use. Now let's talk about the actual testing. The first thing to keep in mind is safety. When we're testing with either one of these meters, we're going to test at 1,000 volts, which means 1,000 volts will be present at the leads. So that means we don't want to be touching the metal of these leads whenever the testing is in process. Uh, if you're, you're going to get an unpleasant shock. It's not going to hurt you, but it will be unpleasant, pretty much like hitting an uh, electrified fence charger. Uh, again, you don't want to stay there, but it won't hurt you either. Uh, in regard to that also, if the motor is shorted, the case will be electrically hot, so we don't want the motor on a conducting surface while we're testing. Wood, a laminate, uh, but not metal. Metal's going to be conductive and we don't want to do that. Okay, let's talk about the meters themselves. What we have here is the UEI Digital Megger. Uh, you'll see the red zone here is for insulation resistance, so that's where we're we are going to be for our testing. You have a choice of 200, 500, or 1,000 volts. We're going to test at 1,000 volts. Over here is what we call a Christmas tree megger. It tests at 1,000 volts as well. You'll see in a few minutes why it's considered a Christmas tree tester. Okay, so with that being said, I think we're ready to start. I'm going to take my leads from the UEI meter and I'm going to connect the black lead to the ground wire of the motor and then connect to one of the power leads of the motor turn the meter on and we see a one in the far left hand place which means we're off the scale good for this motor okay so then I can check the other leads as well quickly Again, off the scale, good. Turn it off. And all three power leads test good. So our insulation resistance is good on this motor. Now let's test our other motor that we have here. So again, the first thing I'm going to do is attach the black lead to ground with the green wire and then connect one of the power wires up. Turn the meter on. And now we see 1 meg ohm, which is much less than our 10 meg ohms that we're going to require to put this motor back in the hole. So this motor would be considered bad. There's no reason to go any further with your testing. Your insulation resistance is bad on this motor. Uh, so it's best just to stop there in the process. Okay, so now let's uh, connect up and use our Christmas tree tester. Again, first we will go black wire to the ground connection, red lead to one of the power wires, push the button, and you'll see it cycle through, and actually no, none of the lights are lit right now, which means we're above a thousand mega ohms, says right here on your meter, if there's no light. Test another lead.
again, it is good. And finally, we'll test the black lead. As you can see, no lights are lit up. The on light is lit up, so we know our battery is working, and that motor is good. Okay. Then we will switch over to the other motor. Again, connect the black lead up to the ground wire of the motor. Choose one of the power leads. Push our button. And this time we see the red light lit up, which is in the bad zone, so we know this motor is bad. Again, there's no reason to go any further with this testing. So I hope that helps answer your questions on how to make a motor. Thank you for your time.